Hello everybody and welcome to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit different video than normal. I'm going to start expanding my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be recording a video on how to make t-shirts. Specifically using DTG technology, that stands for direct to garment. A lot of people print t-shirts using vinyl or other methods such as screen printing. We're not doing that. We're not using vinyl or screen printing. We're using the DTG technology. And in this video, I'm just going to go through a quick summary over all the basic steps that we do. It's not going to be real in depth, just so you can get an idea of how a DTG shirt is made. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by getting a shirt pre-treated and prepped for print. And we're going to take this one step at a time. So let's check it out. Okay, so we have Aaron here working with us. Aaron is going to take our next shirt for print and he's gonna get the shirt pre-treated and ready for print. Now this here machine that we're using is a Pearl PTM and this is a pre-treatment machine. This unit makes it so it's a lot more streamlined as we're pre-treating shirts. When you're pre-treating a lot of shirts, this machine really comes in handy. So Aaron's gonna go grab this shirt over here and we're gonna place it on the Pearl PTM platen. The pre-treating is important because the pre-treating is what allows the white inks to adhere to the shirt. If we don't pre-treat it, the white ink will not adhere to the shirt and we will not have a good print. The first thing we're going to do after we get it centered and, and put on the platen is we use a fabric shaver to make sure we get rid of any extra fabric sticking up or um, additional lint that we don't need on the shirt. We want a real clean print surface for the shirt. So if you're looking at doing DTG or if you're just curious on how this process goes, always want to be sure you can get a, that you, ha, you can get your hands on a fabric shaver. And as you can tell, he's not going too fast. Just going just just good enough to make sure we get a good clean shave on the shirt. All right. Once the shirt has been properly shaved, we then go ahead and prep the unit for pre-treating the shirt. This particular model has a, a, a screen on it we can use like a computer, and he's going to pull up the proper profile for this type of T-shirt. And we just hit a button that says go, and it's going to spray that pre-treat fluid all over the T-shirt so we can get that good print. Perfect. This shirt is pre-treated and ready to be heat pressed so we can take it to the printers. Okay, so from here, Aaron's going to go ahead and remove the shirt from the platen on the Pearl PTM, and we're going to bring it over to our heat press. On the heat press, we're going to bring it down and heat press the shirt a few times to dry that pre-treatment fluid. It's got to be dry. We don't want to print with a wet pre-treat. It's important when you pre-treat to make sure you have a proper application to get a good print on the t-shirt. It's a very important process. So he's going to go ahead and drop this heat press on it and we'll be back shortly. All right, so our shirt is just about finished up here. We have a timer on our heat press. It's going to pop up. Aaron's going to remove this shirt and we're going to take it inside and our shirt is ready to print. So we're going to take it to those printers and get, uh, get this thing printed. Okay guys, so Aaron's going to hand me this shirt we have here ready for a print now that it's pre-treated and we're going to put it on our Rico RI1000 and we're going to get a print started. So we just take this shirt here and we got to line it up on this platen. So it's very important to make sure the shirt is properly lined up on the platen so that you get a straight print. If it's crooked, we're going to get a crooked print. And we don't want our customers having a crooked print. So we have already fabric shaved the shirt. We've pre-treated it. Now it's ready to be printed on. But the first thing we want to do before we send it into the printer is we want to make sure we use a lint roller and get any excess lint off of the shirt. If you don't, it can cause problems with the print. It can get lint on the print head and you have to clean the print head. And we don't want that. So once you have it properly lined up, I'm ready to send in. We snap this guy on here. And now we're ready to pull up our file and send it to the printer. Okay, so we have our file sent to the printer from our computer. We have the graphics showing up on the uh, main screen here. And this is all ready to send into the printer. We have our height and everything set. So we're going to send that to the printer. And this is going to print us a good quality DTG printed t-shirt.
Okay, so we have this out in the shop with our heat presses in the shop. These heat presses are a little smaller than the other one we used earlier for the pre-treat. We just need to be big enough to uh, press on our graphic. So once we have this properly put on our platen here for the heat press, we need to get some parchment paper. We place that over the graphic, like so. And we heat press this guy two times in 90 second intervals. And then we'll have a finished product. So hold tight, we're gonna go ahead and heat press this and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so our shirt got done being heat pressed. We pressed it two times for 90 seconds. Our shirt is now completely finished and ready to ship to our customer. Let's go take a look. All right, you guys, so here we have it. This shirt looks like it's for a great grandma. <laughs> Blessed great grandma is the design. You can find this on our shop at healthymerch.etsy.com. Now, this was printed on the color Heather Mauve, and this is an extra large t-shirt. But as you can see, the print came out real good. It's nice, white, and vibrant. Those DTG printers do a great job, typically, on getting us a nice print on these t-shirts. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you print a DTG shirt. I hope you like it. I hope this video has been informational for you. Our shop is called Healthy Merch. As I said, you can find our shop at healthymerch.etsy.com. Feel free to go check it out if you find a product you want. We also do customizations, but we try to keep everything in stock so we can send prints out as quick as possible. The whole COVID crisis has made it a little more difficult as some prints are some shirts are taking longer to get in stock from my suppliers. And some colors, they're not stocking as much. A lot of production has gone into face masks instead of the t-shirts. But they're still working really hard on producing the shirts and they're getting ramped back up, which is really good. There you have it. If you guys have any questions, pre please feel free to shoot a message down below. I'm going to be doing more videos on the t-shirt prints. If you like this video and you're wanting to learn how to do DTG more, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads that are coming in the future. I, I, want, I have a special guest that wants to come say hi too. Lydia! This is Miss Lydia. Hi. <laughs> this is my daughter. Sometimes she's a big helper too. Hi. Can you say subscribe? Subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Lydia. Thanks, guys. Peace out.